Hi friends, welcome. Today I am going to present the topic pharmacovigilance. It is also known as drug safety. It is a wide area of discussion. It's a branch of science. It deals with so many activities. Each country is having their own pharmacovigilance program, which is supported and headed by WHO. It is also a, an area of research and also career opportunities. Today, I'm giving some basic concepts related with pharmacovigilance. So hence, the pharmacovigilance programs helps to ensure the drug safety and also the patient safety. So we can start the session. Pharmacovigilance. Contents include introduction, derivation and meaning, definition, history and development, need of pharmacovigilance, pharmacovigilance program of India, Ayurveda and pharmacovigilance, conclusion. Introduction. Pharmacovigilance, also known as drug safety, plays an important role in public health by ensuring the safety of drugs. Each country has their own pharmacovigilance program and WHO provides support and guidelines to these programs. In India, the pharmacovigilance is known as pharmacovigilance program of, program of India. Pharmacovigilance program of India or PBPI. These programs help to monitor drugs, implementing effective measurements while reporting ADR, generating public awareness, provide training programs to healthcare professionals, etc. Derivation and meaning. Pharmacovigilance is derived from word combination of pharmacon and vigilare. Pharmacone means drug. Vigilare means to keep an eye on, keep watching. Definitions of pharmacovigilance. The pharmacone, the pharmacovigilance is defined as the science and activities relating to detection, assessment, understanding, and prevention of adverse effects or any other medicine related problem. Adverse drug reaction is defined as a response to a drug which is nauseous and unintended that occurs at doses normally used for the prophylaxis, diagnosis, therapy of disease or for modification of physiological function. History and developments. In 19th and in the beginning of 20th century, there were reports of so many health hazards due to the irrational usage of drugs. Following these tragedies, there were implementation of various laws and programs for drug safety. So these are considered, these incidents are considered as some major milestones in the history and development of pharmacovigilance. Some of them are in deaths due to chloroform anesthesia in 1848. Tragedy in USA due to elixir sulfanilamide with solvent ethyl glycol, which is reported in 1937. Following this, Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act by USA in 1938, which ensures drug safety. 1961, thalidomide tragedy. Congenital malformations in babies, cochomelia, due to the usage of thalidomide by pregnant women. Thalidomide tragedy is the most important, or is considered as the most important incident in the development of pharmacovigilance. Then some other important facts were 1962, 
Keshavar Hari is amended act by USA, yellow card system launched by UK in 1964. And in 1968, WHO started the project on international drug monitoring. It's very important. In 2012, New European pharmacovigilance legislation happened. So these are some important incidents in the development of pharmacovigilance. Nowadays, uh, WHO plays an important role which guides the countries in pharmacovigilance program. WHO play an important role in pharmacovigilance worldwide for ensuring drug safety nowadays. Uppsala Monitoring Center, Uppsala Monitoring Center, UMC, located at Sweden, functions as WHO collaborating center for international drug monitoring. International drug monitoring, which guides and supports pharmacovigilance programs worldwide. UMC is having a database, pharmacovigilance database, known as BGBase. So UMC is having a pharmacovigilance database known as BGBase, which maintains individual case safety reports in global manner. Need of pharmacovigilance. Pharmacovigilance programs are essential for ensuring drug safety as new drugs are launched to the market. The clinical trials are not enough for knowing adverse drug reactions in long-term period and in large populations. Post-marketing studies must be carried out for this. Pharmacovigilance programs conducted help to implement extensive post-marketing surveillances. Through pharmacovigilance program, the public will get awareness and the health authorities can make alerts, effective measurements, and if serious adverse drug reactions occur, the drug itself can be withdrawn from the market. Country-wise pharmacovigilance programs should be conducted as there are diversities in genetics, ethnicities, etc. Pharmacovigilance program of India or PVPI, which plays an important role in drug safety in Indian population. Central Drug Standard Control Organization, CDSCO, under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare implemented PVPI program. Started in July 10, July 2010 and AIMS New Delhi was its national coordination center, NCC. Later in two, uh, April 2011, it was shifted to IPC Ghaziabad. IPC means Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission. Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission, Ghaziabad, now acts as National Coordination Center for Pharmacovigilance. ADR Monitoring Center, AMC, Medical Colleges and Hospitals, recognized by Medical Council of India. Actors, AMC. ADR reporting is very important in pharmacovigilance. Suspected ADR reporting form is available in the following link. In the following link, you can get, you will get the suspected ADR reporting form. Any health professional can report this. After completing the form, this can be sent to the nearest AMC or directly to the NCC. The AMC will assess these data and will send to NCC. After evaluation in NCC, this will be directed to the Global Pharmacovigilance Database by Uppsala Monitoring Center. Ayurveda and Pharmacovigilance. The need of pharmacovigilance in Ayurveda. Pharmacovigilance programs are essential for ensuring Ayurvedic drug efficacy and safety. In the market, there are so many drugs launching in the name of Ayurveda. Even the advertisements using the terms herbal, Ayurveda, natural, organic, safe, etc. They may or may not have the desired quality as per the claim. So to ensure the quality, to avoid adulteration and other harmful effects, systematic incorporation of pharmacovigilance system is needed in Ayurveda.
ആയുഷ് സുരക്ഷ ഫാർമോകോ വിജിലൻസ് ഓഫ് ആയുർവേദ സിദ്ധ യുനാനി ആൻഡ് ഹോമിയോ ഡ്രഗ്സ് ഈസ് നോൺ ബൈ ദ നെയിം ആയുഷ് സുരക്ഷ ലോൺസ്ഡ് ബൈ മിനിസ്ട്രി ഓഫ് ആയുഷ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ദിസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഈസ് ഇന്റെൻഡ് ഫോർ മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് ആൻഡ് റെഗുലേറ്റിംഗ് ദ ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് ദീസ് ഡ്രഗ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ റെഗുലേറ്റിംഗ് ദ മിസ്ലീഡിംഗ് അഡ്വർടൈസ്മെന്റ്സ് മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് ആൻഡ് റെഗുലേറ്റിംഗ് ദ അഡ്വർടൈസ്മെന്റ്സ് ദ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഓഫ് ദ പ്രോഗ്രാം ആർ ഓസ് ഫോളോസ് നാഷണൽ ഫാർമകോ വിജിലൻസ് കോർഡിനേഷൻ സെന്റർ എൻ പി വി സി സി ഇന്റർമീഡിയറി ഫാർമകോ വിജിലൻസ് സെന്റേഴ്സ് ഐ പി വി സി എസ് പെരിഫറൽ ഫാർമകോ വിജിലൻസ് സെന്റർ പി പി വി സി എസ് നാഷണൽ ഫാർമകോ വിജിലൻസ് കോർഡിനേഷൻ സെന്റർ ഇസ് ഓൾ ഇന്ത്യ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ആയുർവേദ ന്യൂഡൽഹി ഇന്റർമീഡിയറി ഫാർമകോ വിജിലൻസ് സെന്റേഴ്സ് ഐ പി വി സി എസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ആയുർവേദ ജയ്പൂർ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് പോസ്റ്റ് ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ് ടീച്ചിംഗ് ആൻഡ് റിസർച്ച് ഇൻ ആയുർവേദ ജാംനഗർ നാഷണൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് യുനാനി മെഡിസിൻ ബംഗളൂരു നാഷണൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് സിദ്ധ ചെന്നൈ നാഷണൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ഹോമിയോപ്പത്തി കൊൽക്കത്ത പെരിഫറൽ ഫാർമകോ വിജിലൻസ് സെന്റേഴ്സ് പി പി വി സി എസ് ഇസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ദ എസ് യു കോളേജസ് ആൻഡ് ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽസ് So PPVC is our peripheral pharmacovigilance centers are the primary units of data collection the data will be transferred and evaluated in intermediary pharmacovigilance centers and in national pharmacovigilance coordination centers so conclusion systematic and scientific approach of pharmacovigilance vigilance programs are having great impact in ensuring the patient safety and in turn the public health incorporating technologies in pharmacovigilance vigilance system made the things to be more accessible and integrating the data globally pharmacovigilance vigilance is a great area of research and career opportunities proper training and awareness programs will be helpful for implementing these programs in more productive way this pharmacovigilance is a wide topic and just giving some glimpses related with this topic thank you